Well, with the new year, of course, comes New Year's resolutions. Now, a lot of people, of course, uh, they look forward to being healthy in the new year. That's obvious. And getting physically healthy is very important, but also you've got to have some brain power in there, too. WFNY News 2's Brian Bennett. Talk to an expert. It's going to help us achieve all those goals this year. What are some of the things that your clients kind of struggle with mentally when they're actually trying to reach their fitness goals? Um, a lot of the times, I think people are just held back by their by their own perception of how difficult it will be. But if you get some professional guidance, I think that will subside pretty fast. With that being the case, Chris, what do you actually suggest for people to do mentally? Is it reading? Is it taking a look at a video before they get to the gym, just to be prepared mentally for what they're gonna be you know, asked to do physically. I would kind of flip that a little bit and I would say that having a set schedule really helps when you know that, well, this is the time that I go to the gym. For instance, if you have weight loss goals and you say, well, hey, I gotta do cardio every day. If you are you know, able to build a streak, so to speak, that you have put together a week or two weeks or six months, you are much less likely to break that streak. So it kind of becomes a, an exercise in, in, in willpower and, and, and mental fortitude as well. What are some of the strategies that you actually implement with your clients? You know, do you push certain buttons in them to make them kind of, you know, kick it in high gear so they can, you know, finish that last set? Well, you listen and, and you learn and, and you pay attention. And then um, over time, um, you figure out what triggers, you know, different kind of feelings and different kind of people. So, so as a fitness professional, my job is to figure that out and then kind of offer the approach that works. What are some tips just to keep them motivated throughout the year? It's just, you know, give yourself some time. I think that's really the main thing that don't give up. If you, if you keep going, um, then, on the other side is, is what you're looking for. It just depends on how far you are from where you want to go. All right, guys, and if you're interested in checking out Chris and getting your body right for 2021, you can check him out in High Point on Tinsley Drive. Now, guys, I mean, what do you think about this? Are you mentally fit, uh, Eric, Tahitia, Maddie? <laughs> I don't even know if I should answer that or not. <laughs> I don't know where I should go with that. I will tell you this, you get out of life what you put into it. So my biggest problem is impatience. You know, I want things to happen within a week or so. And you've got to, as he said, you got to think about the long haul. Mm. For me, the easiest part is working out. I know some people, that's the hardest part for them. For me, I can do it. I've been doing it for months now. It's mm -hmm. the eating right. That's the hardest part for me because the, the two go hand in hand. And uh, if you don't eat right, you aren't going to see the results that you want to in the gym. But I like to do things in moderation. That's the biggest thing for me. I'm going to have my Nutella. <laughs> I was about moderation. to say. <laughs> One spoon instead of five. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm similar to Eric in that I want to see results immediately, no matter what it is, whether it's a fitness goal or a career goal. So I get really frustrated when it doesn't happen as fast as I think it should, and I tend to give up. So maybe this year and after your tips, Brian, I can stay mentally tough and not let that stop me from keeping on, keeping on.